Hey, Jay, you guys rushed for seven yards in the first half, and then I think two, two, about 220 in the second half. What, what was the difference in your mind in the rushing game? Uh, just being able to know that we can establish the run and we kind of got away from it in the first half and went to throwing the ball. So we just want to get back to back to the base and knowing we can uh, grind and pound and just win the game by running the ball and establishing the run game. So that was what the second half adjustment was. I don't know if there's more you can say about Robbie. You guys have already said, but he went over a thousand yards. They had over 170, yeah. 76 yards. What makes the biggest performance? Just proud of him. I'm proud of him. Proud of him. He's real humble. Uh, He's very unselfish. I mean, the first thing he did was thank the O-line, came up, thank me, just uh, just team effort. I mean, just being able for him to reach 1,000 yards and so fast, I mean, just showing that it's just his second year playing running back. So just showing the poise and the off-season workouts he's been doing, just everything just he's taking advantage of. It. KJ, against BYU, you said after the game, you said you lifted weights. Do you think Auburn got – to feel that today with that I think song. they did. I think they did. I think they did. Uh, that's the first time my team actually came up to me and said, "Like you, you live weight." So I was like, "It's a trend now." So I mean, I, I mean, I love it. I mean, just the encouragement from the teammates and just being out there, going out there and just play hard nosed football. What you see on that play? Oh, uh, so actually, I really ran to wrong play. Really, <laughs> on the first one. No, the second one. The second. The second. Yeah, the second. One, yeah. So basically, like it was just like man of zone, just reading, and it's really a, a shallow route to Hazelwood, actually. So. I didn't see Hazelwood at all, so I just took off running and made the most of it. So I had to make one guy miss. That was my guy supposed to make miss, and I just made a miss. So. Hey, how has the chemistry built between you and Matt Landers? I mean, obviously, BYU had a big game, had over 100 yards today as well. It continues to kind of grow, it's looking like. Uh, just being able to just understand Matt and just uh, try to get him in the rhythm early uh, so he build his confidence up because he he's extremely hard on himself. So anything that he doesn't get, I mean, he's uh, just – on himself. So being able to give him the rhythm early, let him get a feel for the game, and then just being able to, I know I can go to Matt in those situations. Yeah, you guys are back to finding your six, and Sam was saying, just looking at your couple first downs, and then yeah. Hunter to the room, and instead, uh, Rocket runs 76 yards, and you get another touchdown. What did you do that play, and kind of how did that unfold? And, and uh, it come from just practicing. We practiced those situations, just being backed up, coming out, uh, just trying to establish the run game uh, as well, and just knowing that we, we can't, nothing can't hurt us, no penalties back here. Nonetheless, so we just put our best foot forward and Rocky just uh, trusted himself and made a great run. Defense guys, uh, just the importance that you guys have placed on the third quarter. What does that look like kind of in practice and how you guys emphasize that? And what do you think about the third quarter today? Just starting fast. I mean, we emphasize starting fast. Uh, we could practice just like uh, BYU week, uh, just knowing that third quarter, we haven't won third quarter all season. So just being able to come out with that edge and that mentality that we're going to win and dominate third quarter. So that was the whole mentality for both sides. In retrospect, how frustrating was it for you to have to watch Mississippi State game? Because I'm sure it would have been different if you played, obviously. But, but now you guys are going back to back road games with pretty good programs, and you kind of feel like things are back on track for y'all? Uh, it is. I mean, we all just bought into the process, just knowing that we need to go on this run, uh, just to be able to just create history like we did today, just being able to snap the losing streak uh, versus Auburn. So just being able to create history, write our own story, and just keep moving forward, keep this program on track. Yeah, that was good. I was going to ask about the, the six game losing streak. I know the guys have been around like Bumper and Dalton. How important that was to get this win after six years. Yeah, just being able to, uh, Coach Pim emphasized to, uh, this week in practice and just being able to just play for those guys. I mean, they've never beat Auburn. And then just to send them out the correct way, I mean, just truly accomplishments to everybody on the team. Yeah, Bracken, you said he thanked you and thanked the O-line. Was that in the locker room? Was that on the sideline? It was both. It was both. It was both. I was just messing with it in the locker room not too long ago about uh, him rushing uh, 1K. So it was, it was just our love and excitement. Which locker room celebration was better, BYU or this one? This one right here. Just because of the uh, losing streak that we had versus the Army, and it's an SEC West team, and we needed an SEC win, so I'll say this. Hey, Jay, good job. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, don't feel like I used to.